I'm in Eva right now. I'm trying my 275 grand tricky. Today is gonna be the day I learn this trick. She's getting pretty close. I think she's gonna get it today. Can you do the trick she's trying? I cannot do the trick she's trying. No way. Right here. Yeah! Ah, oh, that was it. I'm getting pumped up. Last time I was like, kind of over it. This one, I'm fighting for it. Once you're like really close to something, you just can't let it go. I'm doing it for me, not for anyone else actually. I'm sorry, I love you all, but I'm doing it for me. For me. Oh. Come on, Bali. Come on. If I land it, you have to land it. Okay, okay. Ah. Okay, this one's it. This one's it. This one's it. Dude, you're so close. Can I have a julep after this if I land it? Yay! I'm getting a doula after this. And I land it. Right here. Ugh. Okay, right here. Yeah! I don't, I don't get that. I, I went so flat. Does that count? No, nope, doesn't count but I'm gonna get it right here. If it was me, I would say it counts. Got it. it felt so awesome to just ride away and not like be done with that trick, but be done stressing over it. Anytime I'm scared of a trick, I won't go for it. And then when I get it, it'll just be one of those tricks that I'll get every try and then I'll get another trick. It's just kind of a cycle, I guess. It's the most amazing feeling just to learn a new trick. I don't want to be just stuck doing the same thing. I want to be doing new things. I want to take my skateboarding to the next level here. And for the past two weeks, I've been slacking on that. And now I finally realized how much I've been slacking at the wrong moment. I don't really feel confident just because of the fact that my ankle's still not in the best condition ever. I can't really like, I can't focus on anything right now. I'm like, I'm just looking at all the skateboarding around me and it's just like everybody's trying new things and I'm just still here with the same tricks. And it bumps me out. Dish Dogs is a program here at camp where campers can get a free week if they wash dishes around the end of breakfast, the end of lunch, and the end of dinner. It's not that hard, you just stack them up, wash them all down, and you still get to stay for your whole week. You're still in the cabin, you still get to experience it like a regular skateboarder camper, but you're here for free and all you do is wash dishes. It's one of like, the best programs I see here at camp. And it kind of fits me because I want to learn what it's like to do hard work and just like stay here as a camper and like really get another opportunity. So I'm just gonna try and go figure out what's happening with dish talk right now. I'm going to the skate office, see if I can find Darren. I'm gonna beg him to see if I can do dish talk here and just stay for one more week. Hey, are you Darren? I am Darren. Hi, I'm Devante. Nice to meet you. Devante, nice to meet you. How's everything going? It's going well. It's going well? You having a good time here? Yeah, it's the best. I just had a couple questions about like some of the programs here at camp. Okay. Is there a dish dog program still going on for the next week? There is a dish dog program. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any spots available. It's They're already packed. Super packed. Uh, obviously, that's one of those positions yeah. that everybody wants to do, everybody wants to stay. Exactly. 
and it's one of those things that you know, a lot of people are proactive about that. So yeah. They hit me they, up all the time. About so weeks ahead. Exactly. 800 campers a week, they're always hitting me up for that program. But right now, I don't have any spots. I understand. All right, thanks. No worries. Have a good one. Unfortunately, there were no more spots, and it kind of bummed me out, but I was realizing, like, I'm the only one I could blame for messing up my leg and just not putting my goals ahead of anything. And you win some, you lose some. I could deal with it and just focus on the future. I would blow my whole college fund on coming to Camp Wood. I would waste wedding money to come here. I just want to skate. I'm just disappointed in myself. That's all. Before I got to camp, I realized all these goals that I wanted to set for myself. But now that I look back on it, for the past two weeks, I haven't really done anything on or off the board wise. I've failed myself in a way that I would have not liked to see. It. And I just haven't been a positive person. I haven't been trying new stuff. I haven't been taking advantage of my opportunities and as much as I needed to. And I just feel like I have to make it right with myself. I don't even know what to say. Like, I just did everything I didn't want to do. I came here, I was being a jerk some days, and I just wasn't showing how positive I was. I wasn't applying myself on the skateboard as much as I should have. I should have never went for the back on the 80. I should have just kept in Merlot, skated like my obstacles, but at the same time learned stuff. And now it's like the last days of camp, and I haven't really learned anything. So I kind of like, I feel like I've wasted these two weeks and that I, like, I didn't really deserve the opportunity that I was given. So I have to make this right with myself and everybody else around me. Two minutes and 50 seconds, so it's good. It's good. So right now, I'm kind of sad. I'm on my way to do ankle recovery. This is like my last chance at trying to get the battle at the four block. It's been a long two weeks, but hopefully it's gonna be the most positive thing I've, I've overcome. So hopefully it just works out and I can get my ankle fully 100% recovered. Praying on this one, dude. As you can see, my ankle is not 100%. <laughs> All right. It hurts because I can't really like push it up. Like if I do this, it hurts so much. So that, I think that's why it's not letting me like fully get balanced. But I'm gonna just stop playing and take it seriously. Okay, right here. It just hurts. Me a long day. That moment when you thought you were done, but this is just the beginning. Demonte, Demonte. When will I learn? Yep, heaven. Ice bucket heaven. Ooh, bro. All this is going towards my back 180 battle. I've been battling this shake for two weeks, bro. I haven't rolled away. I just had like a personal issue with this trick and I'm just gonna, I've been practicing like Manny told me. I've been having patience. I've been trying to ice my leg and it's just, it's time for it to go down. So I'm just milling out with some ice right now. Gonna do two sessions. I just really wanna skate. Snapchat saved my life. The best thing to do for yourself is 
So make sure your body's straight before you just put your like body on the line. But at the same time, I just haven't been feeling myself lately. And I, I haven't been acting myself. And it's just like, I have to make it right with myself. And it's just like, dude, like, I really want to skate. I don't want to go out of camp with a bang. I have one more shot, I have one more opportunity to land that trick, and it just has to go down. If there's anything I want to do before I leave camp, it's that for sure. But dang, this stuff is cold, son. On the next episode of Camp Woodward, 